and tonight, Robin Gill. Good evening and thank you for joining us. We begin tonight with a desperate plea for help from a Canadian woman who believes her boyfriend and others are still alive, despite being lost at sea over a week ago. The Gulf Livestock One, carrying about 6,000 cattle, sank off the East China Sea on September 2nd. Three of the crew were rescued, one of whom later died. Charlie Gray was due to meet her boyfriend, William Mainprize, in the coming weeks after being separated during the COVID-19 pandemic. I'm really looking forward to finally being together and, yeah, and, and journeying together from that point on. So, um, yeah, it's been really frustrating having, you know, COVID and then obviously this is just devastating to say the least. This week, Japan's Coast Guard scaled back its search, but as Redmond Shannon reports, friends and family of the crew say the rescue efforts must continue. This is the Gulf Livestock One heading into Typhoon Maysac last week. Pretty wild weather. Among the 43 crew members on board, adventurous Australian William Mainprize, sending regular voice messages to his Toronto girlfriend, Charlie Gray. I realise today it's about a month until I'll be seeing you, which I'm psyched about. But Mainprize clearly realised this storm wasn't routine. It's a little bit crazy busy. It's like super gnarly weather on this thing. The Gulf Livestock One had been taking thousands of cattle from New Zealand to a port in northern China. On September 2nd, near southern Japan, it took on water and capsized. The Japanese Coast Guard initially found this man in the water. I'm only one. Yes, yes, no yes. Other, yes. No other one. They would find two more men, one of whom later died. 40 crew, including main prize, are still missing. Aussie stockmen like him are renowned for being tough. We really do believe that they're out there. They're all survivors. And the technology and the life rafts and boats that are missing are also meant to survive these sort of things. But following another typhoon, the Japanese Coast Guard scaled back its search this week, devastating loved ones of the Filipino, New Zealand and Australian crew. So the fact that it, it stopped or at least slowed to a more normal pace just felt like it was way too soon, you know. And he really is one of those people that's just, he's just every good way that you could describe a person. And um, he's just, yeah, generous and compassionate, funny, um, so caring, so good with people. The Australian government is assuring families Japanese air and sea patrols continue to search for survivors. Redmond Shannon, Global News, London. Whether reporting news from the field or anchoring it from the studio. This is the first trade war. She's been a trusted Canadian storyteller for more than 20 years. Global National with Robin Gill. Weekends on Global.